I do think that the smartphone for as, as world changing and as useful as it has been, I do think that it represents a bit of an unnatural half step toward embodied computing, computing that is more naturally aligned with your biological form, more intuitively aligned <clears throat> with how you um, perceive and how you interact with, with something um, that to, you know, to force us to kind of crane our, I mean, it's, it's all in our posture. I mean, that's the, the data is there, um, to, you know, bad core and crane back and crane neck and just, you know, arms <laughs> mangled like this. Um, I, I think, I think that the smartphone has just been this, this sort of shoehorning of a really useful new way of interacting with digital information in, in sort of an unintuitive way. And, um, um, and, and I think that, as soon as we're able to move beyond that, we'll look back and I think we'll see it as such that that was important, but it was not for as, as widespread and world chasing as it was, it wasn't, uh, we shouldn't conflate that with, you know, something being intuitive or something being, um, you know, perfectly aligned with our biological form. Um, because those are, those are two separate things entirely.